hi everyone and welcome back let's let's finish whatever we have started in the previous video we'll talk about uh, the other collections also so we were talking about these things that order belongs to a customer order has many products customer has many orders so payment has one order let's try to see that in the schema models first so payment payment will have payment has one order right so i mean if you are buying something from the shopping cart you have one order and with that order you have to do the payment so payment has one order and if you talk about orders orders belongs to a customer because customer will have order so orders will belong to a customer and customer has many orders if you just go to the customers you can also have the relationship here in the associate block that customer has many orders and on one order it will have a many product one product will belong to a uh, many orders right and so one product and belongs to a many orders one order belongs to one customer customer has many orders all these theoretical relationship we will try to simulate in the code so first of all let's have a look on the model payment has one model order has many customers then customer has customer is a root entity i mean you can extend it like customer has many orders or uh, one single order has a many products one product belongs one product has many orders so there is a many to many relationship also with there but we will try to create a minimal structure here so when we talk go to the orders order is just a simple order customer payment and product now next thing is how we can define the associations between the tables so in the previous video also we created only one single association migration same we have created here customer association so we can see that customer will have there is a primary key id in the customer table and we want customer id as a foreign key in the order table so what we are doing here query interface dot add column in the orders table add a column id okay so from the customer table there is a id primary key which will act as a foreign key as a customer id in the orders table so this is the first associations we had now dot then once this is done let's do the other here what we are doing order and payment order and payment will have one to one relationship like uh, order has one pay rate uh, we have defined it right payment has one order so same thing we are doing here the payment id will be there in the order table because whatever the order you are doing there will be payment id inside it which which will be a, a foreign key and represents the id primary key from the payment table this is the second association we have third association we are having is customer and order right uh, in the orders we want the customer id also so who which customer is doing that order so first our association was about uh, order table having customer id right here in this table order is having customer id so okay there is one more relationship we can add that is this is about down right i mean just removing that uh, uh, column so it is having two uh, two things remove first customer id from the order or remove the payment id from the orders but there is another third relationship we need to maintain that is about uh that is about the product so we can create a product because product model we don't see here so product model is nothing but uh this simple plain and simple product model and it sequelize associations you will define in this block customer association here we have the promise chain so dot then dot oh, then is already there so here what we are doing we are putting order id in the product table so with to which particular product that uh, with to which particular order that product belongs to so uh, here we can see the relationship we have defined cascade update uh, now what is asking for i think i put it twice yeah it look fine now so query interface dot add column in the product table i'm putting order id which is actually a foreign key and representing a primary key id from the orders table 
right i mean it's a primary key foreign key relationship and we already know the relationship of product and order id uh, so one order may have multiple product right it has has many relationship uh, order belongs to this uh, product so here we can put a product uh, order has many products so you can see this i can enable now because i have added a product model you can see order has many products that is fine so order has one to many relationship with the product so in the product migration i mean i already did a model now this is a sequelized migration i have done for the product now while creating the associations because order has multiple products right so product id need to go uh, product uh, sorry order id need to go in the product so that product can be attached to some order right so rest of the thing we can just do a drop we can then just do a create and we can run migrate so everything goes fine now we can check the database okay we are in the five that's problem we need to go to part five here again db drop it's a uh, five second i think it will take not much time db create and uh, migrate okay migration is done now you can check all the tables product will have order id and you can see customer customer is independent i think in the order we will have a customer id and payment id right so all these associations automatically gets created from our sequelized migration we have written okay so that is all from now onwards we will write one application which is having react as react as a front end and this node this apis as a back end where we will learn how we can write a uh, actual apis where we are doing a create bulk uh, bulk create bulk insert update create and update i mean whenever we write any model right here we can define our methods like uh, cook right so model dot user so here we can say user and model dot user dot find all find one find uh, by id find by foreign key all these are actually predefined methods provided by sqlize so we will utilize them and we will build one application so till now uh, we have covered everything about sqlize the migration seeders associations relationships and data validations hooks and defining the schema models uh, and the tags or uh, the methods which need to be which need to be added in the schema models to define the relationships okay thanks everyone have a good day